Are you worried about how much of your hard-earned retirement savings might be eaten up by taxes? If so, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore some effective strategies to minimize your tax burden in retirement. Stay with me till the end to learn some game-changing tips that can keep more money in your pocket. By the end of this video, you will discover simple moves that can reduce your tax liability, advanced strategies for the more adventurous, real-life examples that show these tips in action, the most common question I get asked as someone who has gone through tough financial times and learned to manage money effectively is, how can I keep more of my money in retirement? Let's jump right in with the first tip. Consider converting your traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. Roth IRAs are a powerful tool because withdrawals are generally tax-free, provided you've had the account for at least five years and are over 59 and a half. This means the money you withdraw during retirement won't be taxed which can make a huge difference. For example, imagine you have $100,000 in a traditional IRA. If you're in a 20% tax bracket, you'd owe $20,000 in taxes on that money when you withdraw it. But if that same $100,000 were in a Roth IRA, you'd keep all of it. That's $20,000 more for your retirement. If you're younger, say in your 30s or 40s, starting a Roth IRA now can be incredibly beneficial. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow tax-free. Over decades, this can lead to significant tax savings when you retire. Here's a powerful fact. If a 30-year-old contributes $6,000 annually to a Roth IRA until age 65, assuming a 7% return, they could accumulate over $1 million tax-free. That's right, over $1 million of tax-free income in retirement. If you want to avoid the not-so-desired outcome of paying a chunk of your savings to the government, converting to a Roth IRA might be your answer. Now let's talk about something a bit more adventurous, tax loss harvesting. This strategy involves selling investments that have lost value to offset the gains from other investments. It's a clever way to reduce your taxable income. For example, say you have stocks that have gained $10,000 and others that have lost $5,000. By selling the losing stocks, you can offset the gains, so you only pay taxes on $5,000 instead of $10,000. This strategy requires a bit more attention and management, but can save you a significant amount in taxes. And here's a smart tactic high performers use to accomplish this. They systematically review their portfolios to find opportunities for tax loss harvesting. If you're younger and investing for the long term, Periodically applying this strategy can enhance your overall returns by minimizing taxes throughout your investing journey. Don't overlook the power of standard deductions. For many retirees, taking the standard deduction can significantly lower taxable income. For 2024, the standard deduction for a married couple filing jointly is $27,700. That's a substantial amount of income that isn't subject to federal tax. Let's say you and your spouse have a combined income of $50,000. After taking the standard deduction, you'd only be taxed on $22,300. That's a big reduction in your taxable income. This might be confusing, but it's actually quite simple. Make sure you're taking advantage of the standard deduction every year. Younger individuals should also be aware of standard deductions as they plan their finances, ensuring they leverage these benefits early on to reduce their taxable income consistently. While researching these strategies, I uncovered a secret Many retirees miss out on tax-saving opportunities simply because they don't review their tax situation regularly. Staying informed and proactive is key. So solve it like this. Take time each year to review your finances and make sure you're leveraging all available tax benefits. Now let's dive into more strategies in the next section. This next strategy might sound a bit unconventional, but it's incredibly effective, moving to a tax-friendly state. States like Florida, Texas, and Nevada have no state income tax, which means more of your retirement income stays in your pocket. This can be especially beneficial if you have a significant pension or other taxable retirement income. For example, imagine you're receiving $50,000 a year from your pension. If you live in a state with a 5% income tax, you'd pay $2,500 in state taxes each year. Over a 20-year retirement, that's $50,000. By moving to a state with no income tax, you keep all that money. But notice this, it's not just about state income tax. Some states have lower property taxes, sales taxes, and even better tax treatment for social security benefits. Younger individuals planning for retirement should consider the long-term tax implications of their state of residence, as relocating could significantly enhance their retirement savings. Here's an intriguing fact. Nine states in the U.S. have no state income tax. 
Imagine how much you could save over the course of your retirement just by choosing to live in one of these states. Speaking of Social Security, timing is everything. The age at which you start taking Social Security can have a big impact on your taxes. By delaying benefits until age 70, you can maximize your monthly payments, which can also reduce your taxable income in the early years of retirement. For example, let's say you start taking Social Security at 62, your benefits might be $1,200 a month. But if you wait until 70, they could be $2,100 a month. That's a 75% increase. Plus, by drawing down other taxable accounts first, you can keep your taxable income lower. If you're younger, it's crucial to understand the benefits of delaying Social Security. By planning ahead, you can structure your income streams to minimize taxes and maximize benefits. If you want to ensure you're getting the most out of your Social Security and keeping your tax bill low, careful planning is key. Here's a tactic for the more adventurous, Qualified Charitable Distributions, or QCDs. If you're over 70 and a half, you can donate up to $100,000 directly from your IRA to a qualified charity. This donation counts towards your required minimum distribution, RMD, but isn't included in your taxable income. For example, say you need to take an RMD of $10,000 but don't need the money. By donating that $10,000 directly to a charity, you fulfill your RMD requirement without increasing your taxable income. And this raises the stakes. Not only do you reduce your taxable income, but you also support a cause you care about. It's a win-win. Younger individuals who plan to be charitably inclined in the future can benefit from knowing this strategy, as it allows for significant tax savings while fulfilling philanthropic goals. If you have a high deductible health plan, an HSA can be a powerful tool. Contributions to an HSA are tax deductible, and withdrawals for qualified medical expenses are tax-free. Plus, after age 65, you can withdraw funds for any purpose without penalty, though you'll pay taxes on non-medical withdrawals similar to a traditional IRA. Consider this. If you contribute the maximum amount to your HSA every year, you could build a significant nest egg that can be used tax-free for healthcare costs in retirement. Here's a compelling fact. If you start contributing to an HSA in your 20s and max it out each year, by the time you retire, you could have over $300,000 saved assuming a modest growth rate. All of that can be used for medical expenses tax-free. Let me explain it simply. An HSA offers triple tax benefits, tax-deductible contributions, tax-free growth, and tax-free withdrawals for medical expenses. Younger individuals should start contributing to an HSA as early as possible to maximize these benefits over their lifetime. While researching these strategies, I realized something extremely interesting. Many retirees don't fully utilize their HSAs missing out on significant tax savings. Make sure you're taking full advantage of this opportunity. Remember, maximizing your retirement savings isn't just about what you earn. It's about what you keep. Let's continue with even more tips in the next section. This next strategy might seem a bit bold, but it's incredibly effective. Strategically withdrawing from your retirement accounts. The order in which you withdraw from your retirement accounts can significantly impact your tax bill. Generally, it's best to withdraw from taxable accounts first, then tax-deferred accounts like traditional IRAs and 401ks, and lastly, tax-free accounts like Roth IRAs. For example, imagine you have $100,000 in a taxable account, $200,000 in a traditional IRA, and $50,000 in a Roth IRA. By withdrawing from the taxable account first, you can take advantage of lower capital gains rates and delay taking distributions from tax-deferred accounts, potentially keeping you in a lower tax bracket. And here's a smart tactic high performers use to accomplish this. They plan their withdrawals years in advance, ensuring they stay within favorable tax brackets. Younger individuals should be aware of this strategy as it can help them manage their tax liability more effectively when they retire. If you're comfortable with a bit more complexity, consider a partial Roth conversion. By converting a portion of your traditional IRA to a Roth IRA each year, you can spread out the tax burden and potentially lower your overall tax rate. For example, let's say you convert $10,000 from your traditional IRA to a Roth IRA each year. You'll pay taxes on that $10,000 now, but once it's in the Roth IRA, it grows tax-free and can be withdrawn tax-free in retirement. This can be particularly advantageous if you're currently in a lower tax bracket than you expect to be in the future. This might seem complicated, but it's actually quite simple. A little planning now can save you a lot of money later. 
Younger individuals who start these conversions early can spread out their tax liability and enjoy more tax-free income in retirement. If you're still working and contributing to a retirement account, you might qualify for the saver's credit. This credit is worth up to $1,000, $2,000 for married couples, and can reduce your tax bill directly. For example, suppose you contribute $2,000 to an IRA and qualify for the full saver's credit. You could receive a $1,000 credit on your taxes, effectively doubling the benefit of your contribution. Here's a fascinating fact. Only about 25% of eligible taxpayers take advantage of the saver's credit. This is a significant missed opportunity for tax savings and boosting retirement contributions. Don't overlook this simple yet powerful tip. The saver's credit can significantly reduce your tax bill while boosting your retirement savings. Younger individuals should also take advantage of this credit as they contribute to their retirement accounts, maximizing their tax savings early on. While researching these strategies, I uncovered a secret. Many retirees miss out on valuable tax credits and deductions simply because they don't know they exist. Staying informed and proactive is key. By leveraging these tips and strategies, you can maximize your retirement savings and keep more of your hard-earned money. If you found these tips helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights on managing your finances in retirement.